Hello, we're back here at Couture Sewing Tips and Secrets. We're going to show you how to tie a knot and make an anchor stitch. First, to tie a simple knot, grasp the thread between your index and thumb on your chosen hand. Wrap the thread around your finger once. Then begin rolling the thread off of your index finger. The more times you roll it here, the bigger a knot you will end up having. Then with a free finger and your thumb, grasp the end of the thread here and pull it with your other hand. What you come out with is a knot like that. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how quickly this knot can go in your everyday sewing. There you go, you have a knot right away. It's so easy, so quick. Uh, this knot like this can be used for all of your main regular sewing stitches. Okay, so now for the anchor stitch. This one, we're going to start at the very beginning with the anchor and also finish it. Um, an anchor stitch like this is so good because it's nearly invisible in your sewing. So start by taking your thread through the layers of fabric. I'm going to leave a little tail of the thread here. That way I can snip it off cleanly afterwards. And take just a tiny little bit of the fabric. The bigger your little pick of fabric here, the less strong the knot is actually going to be. So pull your thread through till you have a loop about this size and then go through the loop and pull it tight. You can hang on to the end of your thread here and even pull it in between the layers. There you have a really nice strong anchor. I'm going to do a couple stitches, just a plain basting stitch and we'll end it the same way we started. So here again, take a small pick of fabric, make a loop, and go through the loop. Pull it tight. Then to hide your knot on this end, Turn your fabric the other way around so that you can hide the knot all the way in underneath. And go into the fabric right near where that knot is, between the layers, and you pull it in and you can't see anything at all. Snip your ends, and that's done. So I'm going to show you that anchor once more, uh, the way that we would do it quickly. Something we were just talking about and noticed is that if you go in through the front of the loop, it doesn't make a strong knot, but if you go in the back, it does. So you always have to go through the back. Once again, you would go between the layers, leave a short thread hanging, Take a small pick and come around to the back of your loop rather than going in from the front. It really does make a difference. So the back of the loop here and pull tight. Then if you were to hide it, simply go in right at that knot and you can pull it in.